This book changed the world and started the scouting movement. Hey, Scouter Stamp. Let's talk about aids to scouting for NCOs and men. It was meant to be a military book, uh, but it caught on and it's credited for so many things in scouting today. Today we're going to talk about five fascinating facts or lesser known facts about this incredible book. So many times people talk about it, but they've never actually read the book. It's important to understand uh, it was written at a very critical time uh, for scouting, right at the very beginnings, and uh, was very um, formative of how everything just started. And we, we'll, we'll talk more about that. But uh, let's just jump right into the very first fact. Number one, the book itself, the manuscript, was almost captured in the siege of Mafeking. In fact, uh, Betapool was actually going through the final copy of the manuscript and he, he was finishing it and he was able to get it out of Mafeking just as the siege began. Now, the siege of Mafeking is part of the Second Boer War in South Africa. And Baden Poole was there, and he was going over this manuscript and was able to get it out. He was even quoted by a later saying that if he had the manuscript, it most certainly would have been burned along with a lot of other documents and stuff in the siege. So it was a good thing that it got out. And he was sending it back to his publisher in England. So it had to go <laughs> clear across the world uh, to get back to them so they could print it and, and start that process. Number two, the 1899 um, edition, first edition of AIDS to Scouting uh, was not Baden Powell's first book. Baden Powell's first book was actually uh, the 1884 Reconnaissance and Scouting for the military use. Number three, AIDS to Scouting was actually published in 1900 in England. At the time, the Boys Brigade, which predates a lot of scouting, the Boys Brigade even exists today. Uh, they picked up the book and started using it with their program. It became extremely popular because it, it talked a lot about the backwoods and tracking and all of the things that the youth of the time were very interested in. Number four, the book was meant to be small so that instructors could go with recruited scouts out into the field and do the training uh, with small, very small groups. And it was meant to be small so that you could be put in a saddlebag or even a jacket pocket. Uh, the raincoat at the time had this huge pocket and they could actually slide it in there. So it was a way of making the information portable. And this carried over for many years. In fact, the Scout Handbook is very similar in size. Now, before we go any further, I do want to invite you to our monthly meeting. It's on the first Sunday of each month, and it's at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So you're more than welcome to join us and ask questions and, and just have fun. You know, that's one of those wonderful things about that meeting. I also want to thank everybody on Patreon for their continued support of our channel and our channel members. You can be a channel member. You hit the join button and join up. There's all kinds of badges and emojis and different things. They even get the videos uh, exclusively for themselves, ad-free, which is an added bonus. And then, of course, if you don't want to join in and do a monthly donation, you could always do a one-time donation by hitting the thanks button. So get involved. I really do appreciate all that you do in scouting and here on the channel. Number five, the boys of the Empire Magazine 
December 28th, uh, 1901, was the very first publication to actually use the words Boy Scouts. And it was in an article about Baden-Powell and his Aids to Scouting book. It names that book. It refers to that book. It is an amazing thing. But that is the actual beginnings of being recognized as Boy Scouts. And that was the beginning of it all. Um, Baden Powell still hasn't done its done his experiment. He was still active in the military, uh, but this book was getting momentum. You know, being the hero of Mafeking uh, during that siege, um, which which is almost a year. I mean, it was a big deal. Um, that made him a hero. Uh, if you look back in time, you'll notice that there's mugs and plates and all kinds of commemorative stuff with Baden-Powell's uh, looks, appearance on it, uh, his, his drawings and stuff like that. It's amazing what's out there. Um, that, is, that is a critical thing. In fact, the AIDS to Scouting book was reprinted. And if you'll notice, some of the later printings will say general on it instead of colonel. Okay, uh, that's, that's telling. It tells you that it's much later. Um, and in, there's some that even say General Sir uh, Robert uh, Baden Poole. And um, oh, by the way, I for many years, and I've been doing this a while, for many years I've always used the Americanized uh, pronunciation of Baden Powell. Um, it's actually Baden Pool. Um, that's that's actually how they pronounce it in England. That's how he actually said it. And I didn't I didn't really believe it until I actually heard a recording. It was from a, a wax disc, uh, a tube that actually had had a Victrola recording of of his voice, and uh, he introduced himself with Baden Pool. Uh, I heard that, and uh, so I will bounce back and forth. <laughs> Being older, <laughs> I, I will say Baden Powell sometimes and Baden Pool sometimes. So I'm, I'm learning. It's an it's an old dog learning a new trick. Okay, so <laughs> be patient. Uh, but Baden Pool was amazing, and uh, they rewrote the book uh, several times. And uh, they gave it a fancy red cover. Um, they, they, they had different names on the cover. Um, they would change the additions. They would add things on, and they would make a bigger print. Uh, they would make a, uh, the size kept changing. So it would go anywhere from 57 pages all the way up to 200. So it was very, And it really depended on illustrations, because a lot of times the illustrations... Uh, were, were actual uh, Baden Pool's drawings. He, he did all the illustrations. Um, those would be on their individual page. They wouldn't have any printing on their back or on the page before it. So that it made it much more lengthy of a book. Uh, but if, if you go to the links, you can actually look at, um, I think it's a redone edition. It's like the third edition or something. Uh, 1915 edition of AIDS to Scouting. Some of the military stuff has been taken out, um, but some of it's just been crossed out, so you can still see what it said. Um, so it's it's an interesting read. Uh, it's, it's definitely a lot, a lot to that. And uh, in scouting, we have to understand the past in order to move forward. We're a scouting movement, and looking back only inspires the process of going forward. And we do so much for our scouts, but we have to know where we've been. That's critical. And uh, keeping up that good hard work so that we can teach the future leaders of our country. Um, that, is, that is big. This is a major thing we are undertaking as volunteers. We're all volunteers. Um, definitely keep up the good hard work and I'll see you on the trail.